What? No way! <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears, show. I'm on the verge of tears. Yeah! yeah! Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to the Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. Today, we are covering season one, episodes 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. That is right. We have reached the finale of season one. Now, how do you feel? I feel like a changed man. <laughs> I... All it took was 12 episodes. <laughs> That's it. I've been loving Buffy so much so far. I cannot wait to get through the rest of the show. Now, what's interesting is, and we have seen your comments, is a lot of people said season one is kind of the one where they kind of had to find out what kind of show they were. And they're saying that season two and above get a lot better. Yeah. So honestly, it's been so much fun doing this with you that... I cannot wait for the rest of the season. And I already know, like I'm feeling a little emotional finishing up this season. Mm -hmm. Like I just feel like we're wrapping this up. This is the start of our journey. I feel like I'm gonna remember this, but I can only imagine. I'm like picturing the actual finale of this show. Once we get through all of it, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna cry. I feel like I'm gonna tear up once we finally finish our journey but that's gonna be in a long time, so I'm not gonna think about it. And honestly, I probably am too. You guys come for Buffy, but you stay for the uh, dramatic, emotional distress and joys that we're going to experience. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon, or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And finally, don't forget to check out our Discord where you can talk to us about Buffy and anything else that is on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below, but without further ado, we present to you the finale of season one of Buffy. In every generation, there is a chosen one. 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 She alone will stand against the vampires, the demons, the demons, and the forces. And the forces of darkness. She is the slayer. Did you say the forces of fuckness? <laughs> a forces of fierceness. Oh, my eyes are hazel, Helen Keller. You two will look so <laughs> fine together in the May Queen photo. I love that Cordelia never disappoints. History class. Mr. Giles has this, like, hobby of collecting stuff. Which he let me. I forget that Giles is not Giles's first name. Mm -hmm. His first name is Rupert. Rupert. Wait, can our next dog be named Rupert? Yes. Love it. And then everyone can ask us, Instead oh, like of Rupert Giles. Grint? And then we would say no, like Rupert Giles. And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? So talk to me, people. Damn, Brent was due for this actress. Mm -hmm. She was, she got deep for me. Like this time, I sort of ran over this girl on her bike. It was the most traumatizing event of my <laughs> life, and she's trying to make it about her leg. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the original Regina George. Why don't you stop by tomorrow after school? We'll go over it then. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Oh, she was really, like, Worried about her studies. Yeah. Is this going to be a, like, cordelia focus episode? Uh -huh. You gotta look sharp for the big dig. Oh, that's right. You gotta look good to be on Cordelia's arm. Oh, it's not her arm I'm looking to be on. Oh, <laughs> uh, ew, ew. <laughs> Wait, what's coming up? Is it, like, the prom? It's, yeah, it's like their version of, uh, of Spring Fling. A winter formal. No, it's Spring Fling, yeah. Because I think they call it the May Queen. Okay, fun time's over. Come out. <laughs> Oh, oh, girl, get up and run. <laughs> Damn, right. what would you do? What would you be able to do? Well, somebody is holding it. I just well, really I would also like swinging. try to grab it. Now remember who to vote for for May Queen, has in me. Thanks. Hi. Clea Duvall. <gasps> Clea Duvall? I love her. Oh, 
Okay, that was the lamest comeback of our times. So what's Cordelia up to? Bribery. She's desperate to be made queen. Willow has a Scooby-Doo t-shirt. And little did she know, she's foreseeing the future that Sarah Michelle Gellar will be playing Daphne. Mm -hmm. And remember the, the hat? <laughs> Gee, oh it's God. fun that we're speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Moron, we're gonna be May Queen anyway. I was at my old school. Oh, so the- uh... Yeah, she, she also used to have a life too. <laughs> this is a very Lily moment. <laughs> Clear back, make room, all of you. Mitch, what happened? I don't know. There goes your date, Cordelia. Thing was floated, it knocked me out. I better check out the scene. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be walking up like that. Sue, what did you say? Mitch was gonna sue the school? Sue? Who? <laughs> Willow saving the day. I love Always. her. I love her. Make sure to get your fingerprints on it, Buffy. Yeah, do not touch it. Oh. Is this look? That's interesting. Ah. Huh. You heard of anyone attacked by a lone baseball bat before? Maybe it's a vampire bat. Uh. I'm alone with that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Cody was there. If it's a ghost, then we're talking about a dead kid. I guess so. You know, why don't you compile a list of dead or missing kids? It's probably a good place to start. And, uh, oh God, another like underlying dark episode. You can do it. Ask around, talk to his friends. Talk to Cordelia. Talk to Cordelia? So research, huh? Xander, <laughs> Xander would be the guy to be like, I don't want to do it and I'm not going to. <laughs> You should have seen him lying there, all black and blue. How's he gonna look in our prom pictures? I knew it. How am I ever gonna be able to show them to anyone? You're gonna have to ask somebody else, girl. If he makes varsity baseball, maybe I'll take him on a test drive. <laughs> hey guys, what do you want? Oh, she looked at us. Girl, we're just trying to watch her show. Why is she always trying? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> we everyone saw it. Yeah. You, school nurse, now. Uh, oh my ankle. I think things are getting worse with this principal. Mm -hmm. And he's always right there, but never helpful. Now he's being suspicious. <laughs> Ow! Don't sue. Oh my god. The immediately don't sue. <laughs> Girl. Hey, who's here? But you don't want to mess around with Buffy. Creepy, creepy. I bet we're gonna get someone who like felt like they were invisible and then figured out how to turn invisible. Aww. Cool. Well, yeah, I would give anything to be able to turn invisible. Well, I wouldn't use my powers to beat people up, but I'd use my powers to protect the girls' locker room. Oh, uh, I knew he was going that mm. direction. I just knew it. Oh, hey, do you want to come to our place tonight for dinner? Mom's making her famous phone call to the Chinese place. Sandra, do you guys even have a stove? Oh, I do like their friendship, though. Yes, I me like too. that they're friends. Also, I'm going to totally steal that line. What? Tonight for dinner, I'm making my famous phone call to the Chinese place. <laughs> Very funny. I thought so. I would just like grab um, baby powder. Yeah. And just like, if I hear her laugh, throw it. That's what I was thinking. How is she doing a like, entire ass like dress? I mean, she has a whole team to do this, but it is, it's so sad. Buffy, Buffy was that girl. I mean, no. And she still is that girl, but in a different sense. <laughs> oh, because no reflection. That is a horny surprise. I can about him for the day that Buffy must face him. Something's already in motion, something big, but I don't know what. You've read all the Slayer lore there is, right? The Slayer lore. I wonder if, I want to say that I heard somewhere that there are 
courses in college for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But I'm not 100% sure. But I wonder how deep the lore of the Slayer goes. You know, I wonder if there's like books out there that we can purchase. Yeah, I'm curious too. Because I feel like you could like go through and like evaluate the mythology and stuff like that. I lost. Misplaced. I can get it. (sighs) You can get it. I mean, I'm behaving. Legends of Vishnu. <laughs> Invisible girl terrorizing the school. It's not really my area of expertise. Giles is also like head over heels over Angel. <laughs> Looking in the mirror every day and seeing nothing there. It's an overrated pleasure. Oh, imagine like I can't even see myself. I'm going to have to like turn my head really fast. Nobody caring. And did you guys see this toupee? I mean, it looks like a cabbage. And those slides? That's oh, the mountain. My heart! She said something. Can you acknowledge her, please? I know, but did you see his toupee? I mean, it was like the worst. <laughs> We're talking, okay? Oh. So mean. Not to Miss Claire Duvall, okay? You could never. I will always love her in the faculty. One of my favorite movies. I pulled up their classes, activities, medical records. Did work? Is Cordelia hired a bodyguard or something? Yeah, I'm, I have questions for these two. And it was in the band room that I lost Miss Invisible yesterday. You know, this all tracks. I'm gonna check it out. See you guys later. Okay, we'll see you after geometry. They're getting a lot better at this. Mm-hmm. At just like, all right, teamwork, let's do it. I feel like that wouldn't be comfortable just like living in the ceiling. I would think not. I mean, there's not a lot of room up there. And I would suffocate. <sighs> oh, are we her? Because I hear breathing. Uh huh. I think so. Yeah. Oh. oh. We need Buffy to get some Buffy senses. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Who's there? (gasps) What? No way! Why do they do this to all the good teachers? (gasps) That's weird, right? Check it out. Oh my god. Have a nice summer. Have a nice summer. Have a nice summer. I mean, have a nice summer is your quintessential like, I don't I don't really know you. I don't know what to say. So yeah. have a nice summer. Also, never change. Oh yeah. <laughs> never met her. Why? Because you both wrote it too. <gasps> oh. Have a great summer. <laughs> Willow, you can't change it. Each had four classes with her last year. So no one noticed her and now she- This is so sad. Oh my God. I've been investigating the mystical causes of invisibility when I I should have looked at the quantum mechanical. Fuck, Charles, come on. Rudimentary concept that that reality is shaped, even even created by our perception. And with that- No, we're not, we're not doing this, are we? What do you mean? It's like the inverse of- you can't know at a quantum mechanical level what where a particle is and like how fast it's going or something like that. You can only know one or the other. By perceiving it, you affect how it is. It's just oh, like the same okay. thing as Schrodinger's cat. The cat's in a box. You break a vial of poison, but it's not enough poison to kill the cat necessarily. But you won't know that whether the cat is alive or dead until you open the box. It exists in a state of both. And so like... This is almost suggesting that because nobody like physically remembered her, saw her, interacted with her at all, she just became invisible. Against her will. There it is. I guess we're doing it. She just started. She just, it just became. That's like a next level of like, no one notices you. Yeah. No wonder she's miffed. What does she want? Buffy, you can't blame yourself. You just got here. I, uh, I, I know we've had our differences with you being so weird and all and hanging out with these <laughs> total losers. Oh, oh, Cordelia! This is nice in her own way. 
Miller, she was helping me with my homework. And Mitch and Harmony, this is all about me. Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should love this. You've got all those weapons. I was kind of hoping you were in a gang. <laughs> Please, I don't have anyone else to turn to. Wait, I've I've loved it like even this. more. I know. I don't recall ever seeing you here before. Oh no, I have a life. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right, Cordelia is my new favorite character. <laughs> it's this person. Now, do you have any idea why she'd be so? Oh, God, is she really wearing Laura Ashley? Oh my oh. God. She's out of control. Mm -hmm. She's out of control. <laughs> Though maybe that's the way to like get her back, to have her, have everyone remember her yes. somehow, some way. Queen thing. Maybe she's gonna do something about it. Stop the coronation tonight, maybe. Keep you guys away from the bronze. <laughs> like a reverse carry. Or it could just be a or regular carry. Regular carry, yeah, that's true. She's evil, okay? Way eviler than me. Cordelia has a point. Buffy's with me on this. I almost like kind of want Cordelia to be part of the crew now, like in on the know of stuff. They have good chemistry. You think I'm never lonely because I'm so cute and popular? <laughs> I can be surrounded by people and be completely alone. This mm -hmm. is serious, okay? It is. No, I know. It's just the way she said it. Because she she didn't have to include cute. She didn't have to, but that's, I love that they're sticking with this. It's like her. This is truly her. She can't help it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you feel so alone, then why do you work so hard at being popular? Well, it beats being alone all by yourself. It's fair. She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cries, cries, cries in her lonely heart, thinking if there's nothing missing in her life, then why do these tears come to light? I say come to light, and that's not right. It's fine. Over here. Why do doors have to be so loud? I feel like she wants to be found at this point. Can you say, mm. go? Yep, it was a fucking trap. I did sort of feel like something was missing. Is that when you became weird and got kicked out? <laughs> Cordelia? <gasps> Cordelia? K kicked out the door! <gasps> Buffy! Oh no! Wow, she's strong. Oh yeah, I guess once you're invisible, you get extra good powers. No! I'm Spock and you'll take the whole building with us. Oh, good point, good point, good point. Thank God for Giles. Oh. oh! Ow! Okay, we need to like figure that structure out. Well, I mean, I guess is it, it isn't meant for bodies to just be plummeting. Oh. You're awake? Yeah. Wait, the bronze is still close for fumigation again? <laughs> or this is only like two days after the episode okay with angel i really hope you guys had figured it out by now well why don't you explain it come on marcy what are we supposed to learn yeah give us the exposition i'm gonna give you a face no one will ever forget oh that's scary marcy you can't do this I mean, what are you gonna do slay me marcy you know this is wrong oh so she <laughs> so she knows she's a slayer. <laughs> oh. I see right through you. <laughs> okay, yes, Buffy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Come on. Our hero. I don't know how you knew we were down here, but thank you. I brought you the codex. I came in through the basement, I smelled the gas. Oh, perfect, okay, cool. There's one thing I really didn't factor into all this. You're a thundering loony. Cordelia, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, okay. <laughs> ah, nice. Yes, oh! 
perfect. Now fucking like. Everybody, stay where you are. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who are you? Agent Doyle, this is Agent Minetti. We're here for the girl. Well, where were you ten minutes ago when she was playing surgeon? I'm sorry, we came as fast as we could. Agents of of whom? Of what? Yeah. This isn't the first time this has happened, is it? It's happened at other schools. We're not at liberty to discuss that. Oh, so this is a whole different branch. This is not even Hellmouth shit. Yeah, I'm getting like real vibes of like they're gonna send her to some secret training camp and turn her into a spy. Yeah. Forced her to work for the government or something. They're gonna do what they did to Eleven. Did you guys get out of the boiler room? Oh, well, when the gas was coming down, we. Janitor, time to shut the valve off. You're so lucky. I'll say. Oh, because she hasn't seen Angel in a while. I guess I just want to say thank you, all of you. That is so freaking sweet. Stop. Bro. And now has a peep show shirt. Listen, we were going to grab lunch in a minute if you wanted to. Whoa, well, you're not hanging with these losers, are you? Yeah, we're flying too close to the sun right now. Welcome, Marcy. Hey. Class, this is Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. We have a whole society of invisible people. <laughs> yep. Told you. Cool. Government spy. Government spy? Oh my god. I, does this ever come back in the show? Like this this organization? So overall, that episode actually was really interesting. I loved the how much focus we had on Cordelia. Yes. I really love that the past few episodes we focus on other characters like Angel. We, I mean, I think we already had an episode of Xander, but now Willow, mm -hmm. even Giles has his own moments. Like, I really like that each person is getting their own focus. I love the softer side of Cordelia, even though she is still like a bit harsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and I do really love that we get like a little bit of growth from her here because she's yeah. almost like, you know what? Like, like she came to them and was like, I don't know anything about you, but I do know that you take care of weird shit and there's some weird shit going on. Can you help me, please? <laughs> like, I, I like the little growth, even at the end where she came over, she didn't have to say thank you, but she did. And I wonder if she fully knows that Buffy is a slayer or she just knows that they just handle weird shit. I think she just knows that they just handle weird shit. Okay. Now, overall, I thought this episode was gonna be a little cheesy and it was. Mm -hmm. But just because it's invisible and you're just seeing Buffy being hit around by nothing, but it did get really dark because yeah. this the the villain was also like, no, I'm gonna try to kill you. Like the idea that she was going to like just do plastic surgery on Cordelia's face was pretty pretty interesting and creative. Yeah. So I really like that. It did lose me a little bit at the end when the two guys came in, and I was like, all right, this is crazy. Well, and I also like, I guess it kind of makes sense, right? Like, the government would know about vampires. They would know about them, I right? Guess, yeah. But we need a slayer out on the field to yeah. kind of re really do the work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to go and head over to the next episode. Previously on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, we got a previously on. This is good. Let's take notes. <gasps> All right. I guess we're not getting the... Intro that was one. it. Oh man, we had one last try to memorize it and we failed. Oh, that's good. Date me. It's terrible, right? Huh? Yeah, we're still stuck on Xander. And tag them before they migrate. Just kill me. Why is it so hard? I should just walk up to her and say, "Hey, I like you. Let's go to the dance together." Do it. I think that 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 will work fine. Even though we know it's not gonna work it's out. Not. Oh. Who is that? that? Was what? That's gotta be a broken butt. Yeah. Yes. Stand up and kick his ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, two seconds in the ring. Couldn't couldn't fucking make it. Don't say random words out loud like that. The master shall rise. And the slayer must die. He definitely said an incantation or something. 
or it's an earthquake, like an actual earthquake. Yes, yes, shakers. This is a sign. <laughs> he does look funny, just celebrating on his own. What do you think? Five point one. <laughs> Wait, the master got jokes. Oh okay. I wonder, and maybe uh, y'all in the comments can tell us if at this point in the show airing, do they know that they were being renewed? Oh, because yeah. Because this, this could be like, to your point, we're checking with everybody. This could be a very like wrap up the series oh, just yeah. in case. Just in case that they don't get picked up for another season. Which is something shows do not do well enough anymore. Hey, you guys let us know. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> what? Do I have something on my face? No. Um, and, and yes, we're, we're safe. Oh, uh, but, but, that prophecy definitely says that she's gonna die. It definitely gave me like, so in the end, the boy must die. <laughs> Giles care? I'm putting my life on the line battling the undead. Look, I broke a nail, okay? I'm wearing a press on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Giles is just very emotional right now. There was this thing I wanted to ask you, to talk to you about. Okay, what's up? Uh, let's go over here and sit. Oh God, here it goes. You know, Buffy, uh, spring fling is a time for students to gather and... Oh God, oh God, yeah. I'm... We're here if you need us, girl, okay? And I know we're friends and we've had experiences. We've fought some blood-sucking fiends and that's all been a good time. Buffy, you you probably know this by now, right? Xander, you're one of my best friends. You and Willow. Well, Willow's not looking to date you. Or if she is, she's playing it pretty close to the chest. <laughs> but that's not the point, is it? You either feel a thing or you don't. Oh. She doesn't feel it, boy. I don't. Oh! She said her plain and clear, she had to. I'll try. I'll wait. Oh, Xander. No. no. It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry, Xander. Considering all the practice I've had, huh? Man, I'm sorry, I never... You know what? Let's just not. Don't get snippy, sir. You broached this Re topic of conversation. Rejection is hard, but I would think that you would know by now, but... but He had to shoot a shot. Yeah, exactly. I need to see you. No, I, I realize... Oh, good, she's still here. I totally forgot about her in Whisper Lake when the lake suddenly began to boil. And Ooh. Mercy Hospital last night, a boy was born with his eyes facing inward. Oh, wow. There's a lot of shit happening. I don't know if I can trust you. I helped you cast that demon out of the internet. I think that merits some trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, girl. You, you gotta let her in. And then maybe she'll let you in. No, no. We're not going down that route. <laughs> Why are you so sweet? I don't know. Because I'm usually mean as a snake. Willow! I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Do you think he's a vampire? I think he's a vampire. He's out in the sun, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Just show up tomorrow morning. I'd be really, really grateful. I mean, I'd talk to you at the dance and everything. Sure. Sounds like a deal, Cordy. Well, what'd she say? Apart from no, does it really matter? She's still Jones and for Angel. Can care less about me. She does care about you as a person. She's not in the way that he wants it. Yeah. Be my date. We'll, we'll have a great time. We'll dance. We'll go wild. What do you say? No. Good. Damn. Drop, drop the mic. I don't want to go to the dance with you and watch you wish you were at the dance with her. You think that's my idea of hijinks? Yeah. Set your boundaries, Willow. <laughs> Jeez. This is so, like, foreboding right now. It, it's making me a little nervous believe this it's clear it's, it's what's gonna happen it's happening now oh <gasps> she's gonna be mad she's gonna be mad tomorrow night buffy will face the master and she will die oh the silence after that mm -hmm. crazy one slayer dies next one's called wonder who she is will you train her or will they send someone else I'm on the verge of tears, show. I'm on the verge of tears. I've got a way around it. I quit. It's not that simple. I'm making it that simple. 
Give us the acting. Girl. I was about to say, I'm glad they're giving this her this opportunity yes. to show her chops. Giles, I'm 16 years old. I don't want to die. Oh. It's deep. Deep. This is why I'm saying I'm going to like be emotional this whole journey. Like by the end of it, I'm going to be a, a blibbering mess. A blubbering? <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't lying. All weekend. Honey. No, it'll be great. You and me, a mother-daughter thing. We can talk about all the embarrassing things you love to bring up. Oh, Buffy. Well, then, uh, this probably isn't the best time for this, but... Uh... <gasps> I need to keep myself together. Was it awful? It was awful <laughs> for about an hour. Then what happened? Mama. I met your father. Oh! Stop it! I love it. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm not mad. He totally flaked on me, on me, and I, I don't even care. That's the biggest sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Things are changing. Man, I don't know why we put up with him. <gasps> Do you see the TV? Do you see oh, there was a bloody handprint on it. <gasps> <gasps> they're all vampires. Or they're all eaten by vampires. Mm hmm And when I walked in there, it wasn't our world anymore. They made it theirs. Oh, they're giving everybody really good scenes right now. And they're delivering. Buffy, I like your dress. Oh. Does Willow even know what the prophecy so. is? I love this because it gives us a chance to really see the impact that this is having on them because they've seen a lot of shit, right? Mm -hmm. But like, this is serious. It's dangerous. Summed it up, yeah. Yeah, the part that gets me though is where Buffy is the vampire slayer. She's so little. <laughs> <laughs> so Luca thinks the anointed is a kid. If the vampire that Buffy killed was in fact not the anointed, then Oh, yeah, I forget that they don't know that. Buffy's not going to face the master. I am. No, you're not. So I'm looking for a kid, huh? And he'll lead me to the master? I do love the dress with the leather jacket. It's giving very Tiffany, but if, like, Tiffany was a teen teenager yes. in high school. I've made up my mind. So have I. I made up mine first. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Giles. She had to do it, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and with the bow and arrow. Technically, this is a crossbow. Oh, crossbow. Sorry. Calm? I think he's right. I'm sorry. Calm may work for Locutus of the Borg here, but I'm freaked out and I intend to stay that way. I relate to Xander. I would be up in arms. I'm sorry to bring this up, but we also have an apocalypse to worry about. Do you mind? How come she's in the club? <laughs> we like her. <laughs> you see the teenage me and the turtles over there, like, oh, oh sorry, dudes. <laughs> you want some pizza? That's the only. The thing only I was gonna be like, that's the only. <laughs> and you didn't even say it in a digital turtle, right? You were like, you want some pizza? Oh. I don't like you. At the end of the day, I pretty much think you're a vampire. Pretty much. Yeah. You're in love with her. Aren't you? Let's work together, guys. Come on. Xander gets her during the day. Angel gets her at All night. Oh, right. <laughs> you just check for any common denominators, uh, locations of incidents and stuff. Right, OK. Transition. Uh, yes. Also, all I can think of is that dress is going to be so dirty on the bottom. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me. Uh, he looks a lot more bumpy now. 
I'm looking at my neck. What? <laughs> Who checked at my neck? I saw that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Just keep your distance, pal. Oh my god. Again, we gotta work together, guys. Mm. He sent a bunch of vampires to get him fresh blood. Where did that go down? The bronze. The prom. We have to warn them. No, we'll go. Wait, the prom is at the bronze? Everything is at the bronze. Everything's at the bronze. It is the local bar, coffee shop, dance club. And where you can get a muffin. Venue. I understand. <laughs> Damn. Immediately. Mm -hmm. You tried. It was noble of you. You heard the prophecy that I was a... She was just nervous, okay? Give her one more try. Oh, God. Wow, that's all it took. I like your dress. All right. That's no need rude. to comment on this. He's feeling himself now. Oh, my God. I wonder if that was actually Sarah Michelle Gellar in the water. CPR. You have to do it. I have no breath. Then how are you speaking, sir? It requires air to travel over no. the vocal cords. Vampire not logic. I'm just saying. In here. Not caring. Get in. You forgot losers were going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Bitches, we're back. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dust yourself off a little bit. All of a sudden, these things are coming at me. <laughs> oh. What do I do now? Gotta get to the library. Library, great. Looks like she finally passed her driver's test. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Cordelia. Losing her license immediately. <laughs> she said, library, I got you, fam. <laughs> Love it. What's happening? Yeah! Oh my God. Okay, okay, that's something. It's on wheels, but yeah, it's, on, it's on something. <gasps> what the fuck? All right, I did not sign up for tentacles tonight. I, you know, my world, <gasps> my beautiful world. Oh, he's like right above the library. Okay. No, I feel strong. I feel different. Okay, interesting. Let's go. I wonder if that was like part of the prophecy that we didn't read. It was like the extended edition. Well, because he did say they don't tell you everything. Yeah! Oh, I got chills. <laughs> I know. You know that she's about to fuck some shit up when the theme music yes. starts playing in the middle of the episode. <laughs> Cordelia is superly involved now. <laughs> Audrey, too. Those are like hellmouth raptors. I don't think it's yours just yet. You're dead. <laughs> I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. Yes! yes! <laughs> what can I say? I've long threatened. No. Oh. She's still fucking good. <laughs> okay, Giles. Come on, you can do it. Did you really think you could best me here when you couldn't below? You have fruit punch mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. Damn, Angel killing his own kind. Where are your jives now? Will you laugh when my... Did you really take a look at that? <laughs> Just... ah! oh! <laughs> wow, that was so easy and done. Dust, vamos. Could be fun. Yeah, Buffy. Sure. We saved the world. I say we party. Yeah. And she's got wet hair, and it, that's that's a it look. Works. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. No, sir. 
What happened to the kid? That's an excellent question. Is he just gonna be underground forever? <laughs> oh no, we gotta clean this mess up, guys. This is gonna look weird. Also, there's a car through the school. Yeah. Oh, that's you where we what? ended. Oh, 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 we did it. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to episodes 11 and 12 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one. What are your thoughts? I fucking love it. I think that this was great. I, I do definitely get the vibe that they were not sure if they were gonna get a second season. And I think that they buttoned it up nicely. Yes. I think that they left it open to being able to continue without saying like, that's it, folks, goodbye, you know? Yeah. And they defeated the big bad. They did. And I like Cordelia being part of the team and I want her to stay part of the team. She adds a certain something to the group. Like they need a little like contrarian to kind of keep them like humble, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously there's a whole six other seasons to go. Mm -hmm. um, but I can't wait to know the developments that we get in the second season. The second season, I believe it's up to 22 or 23 episodes. Um, so obviously we'll have a bigger journey with that. Yeah. But I love this journey that we went on for season one. I think for the short amount of time that we had, and obviously now we have shows that are lengths of 10 to 12 episodes now that people are able to fit in. But for what it is, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was worth the, the arc. Um, I will say they did defeat him pretty fast, um, but I'm not complaining. I thought it was a it was a perfect cherry on top and the one-liners in the show worked so well. And I love that everybody was able to be included in this. Even Miss Calendar, who yeah. we forgot about. We just got introduced to like two episodes ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know what? I like I actually take it back a little bit because I feel like it almost fits the master to die to a basic ass wooden stake. Uh, like that, like he thinks he's so cool and he's so powerful. And mm -hmm. he opened up the hell mouth. Yeah. And then he's just a regular ass vampire at the end of the day. Yeah, it's true. He built himself too much. He really underestimated the slayer. You're not special, dude. <laughs> But guys, you know what that means. We are gonna be going and starting season two of Buffy. This is crazy. We're officially like progressing in the show. This is so exciting. Um, and I hope that you'll, you'll join us for it. If you guys have been enjoying these reactions, please comment down below. Let us know. Let us know what you thought of this finale mm -hmm. overall. Um, again, please try your best not to spoil anything for us in the comments, but we have been loving reading your comments and just like the little details that you have been adding uh to us to the show is just amazing yeah we do want to give a big thank you to our patrons thank you so much to our lovely patrons we thank you so much we appreciate you we're so grateful for the support that you have given us mm -hmm. if you want to head over to patreon and become a patron see your names at the end of these videos also reminder that we do put on our unedited full watch along for each episode over there. So if you wanna get the full unedited and are added more commentary over there, head over to our Patreon. The tiers start at $3 and up. And if you wanna unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs, you can join our YouTube membership by clicking the join button below. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are so awesome. We thank you. But until next time, we have been your source for heart analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.